Okay, so I'm looking for a brush to mix this with and, and apply it with, but let me see what I can get going on. Yeah, mostly the grout is a light kind of gray color. Um, I need more ivory. I need more of the ivory. So we'll see. Yeah, it looks kind of a uh, grouty. That's kind of the right color. But I want it to now look dirty. And that's kind of how I mix, okay? Uh, I don't know how the proper way to mix paint is. This is how I do it. I think of what I want, and I think of it in its simplest form, like brick grout. Well, when brick grout starts out brand new, it's like a light gray color. Over time, it becomes dirty. So I start out with trying to get the original light gray color. And I mix that first. And I'm like, okay, here's the original color. That's what brick grout looks like when they lay it. When they lay brick, that is the crap. That is what it looks like. And then over time, it starts to get dingy. And as it gets dingy, it becomes a different color. And I'm trying to find my brown. Here we go. It starts to get, and brown you gotta be careful. Whenever you're gonna mix brown to like dirty up a color, I call it dirtying it up, don't drip it in because you are going to need the littlest bit of brown. Brown is one of those colors that when you mix it in to something, it doesn't take much. Like as you see, there's brown there. I'm just gonna take like literally that much on my brush and mix it in and it'll make a huge difference. Like it's already changed the color a lot. You might not be able to see it, but I can see it. So you just do it a little paintbrush at a time. That's because it's, you know, it could really dr drastically change your color. And you don't want it to be like, you know, you don't want to do it drastic. You want to do it a little at a time just so that you can see what you got going on. Because you might, you know, and just when you think that it looks good, then stop. Don't go, oh, I'll add just a little more. Not unless you're going to do it in a, like, take a little bit of paint and do it in an extra thing. Because you don't want to screw up and have to go all over again. Okay. So now that's looking like mucky, dirty. It's been sitting outside, getting rained on, dirted on for five, ten years. That's what I want. It's all mucky, dirty now. I might even mucky, dirty it a little bit more. Yeah, it's good. It's definitely mucky dirty. Mucky dirty. That's what we want. Okay. So I went from bright grout to mucky dirty grout. So now I'm going to find a brush. And if I screw up, it's really not a big deal because I have plenty of red left. Hopefully it doesn't dry um, to fix it if I screw up. But I'm going to get a brush. I'm trying to find one that I like. Like this. I'm trying to see. I'll check and see if I can get it into the lines. It's a little bit thicker than I want. Always test your, you know, test what you're doing so that you're, because you're going to put, you know, paint on it, obviously, and you don't want it to be, see, that's perfect. That right there is the perfect fit. It's going in without hitting, without any of the bristles hitting up onto the side. So that, that to me is perfect. So what I'm going to do is roll my brush in it a little bit and then roll it on the side so that take a little bit of it off. And I'm just going to go in, and I have a really unsteady hand anymore. I used to actually have a really steady hand for stuff like this. But like I said, if I screw up, don't forget, A, you can wipe it. That's why you have a baby wipe on hand. Just go right over top and wipe any off the bricks. It's not going to take the red paint off. And even if you got it on the red paint, it's really not a big deal. Because we're going to go over it again anyway. So it's not too big of a deal. You have a fresh baby wipe or works better than my half dry baby wipe. Let me get a better wipe, baby wipe. Need a nice wet baby wipe for this. And you just go over and you do that. And if you get some on the brick, that's cool because you know what? When they when the masons do the brick work. They get grout on the bricks and it stays there forever and that's the way it is. 
because that's how brick is. It is not a perfect thing, and nor should it be. So you do all your lines going one way first. And just going in with the point of the brush. And I don't let myself lose a lot. Like, if it starts to, the pin, paint starts to thin out as I go, I immediately go back and rather than push harder on the brush. Because that's when, if you push too hard on the brush, that's when you're going to get paint everywhere. So, rather than push harder to get more paint out of the brush, I lift it up and put more paint on the brush rather than do that. Because it, you're always going to get less control if you push hard on the brush to get more paint out of it. You might as well just lift up the brush. And like I said, don't worry about it. I get paint on the brick. You might as well lift up and just go back in the paint and get more more paint. It's just easier because you might screw something up by by trying to push harder. I put too much on the brush sometimes. It doesn't matter. We're looking good. Like you, you could see some of it on the brick, but that can be so easily fixed. So don't even don't even let that freak you out. That can be fixed very easily. Just the same way we're putting this on, we can fix the other. And don't worry about getting every ounce of the in-between. Like, oh, well, that's not all the way. Don't worry about it. You're not going to be able to see it. In the scheme of things, with the brick, you're not going to be able to see every ounce of the grout anyway. Whether or not it's perfect or every, in every spot under the brick doesn't matter. You just want to get a basic gist. Just a basic gist, and then if you need to go over at the top a little bit more, you know, you find the areas that are a little wonky, you can fix it. You can go back in a little bit. This grout could have used to be just a little dirtier, I think, but it's fine. It's totally fine. It will do the job. And then you go in and you do the other ones. You do the in-betweens, connecting one grout line to the next on all of them. And we're not worrying about whether we get it on the bricks at this time. We're just worrying about getting the white or the gray, the grout, whatever, in there. Get it on the brick, oh well. We will fix it later. See, like I keep getting drops on the brick. It's okay. That's what they have touching up for. But it's really starting to look like brick, isn't it? It's cool. And it's so easy to do. It's not hard. This is not rocket science. This is like, this is so easy. Like, anybody can do this. Because I'm certainly not like a painter in any way. How cool is that? I missed a few. Whoops. 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 Did I miss any more? Let me know. Did I miss any more? I don't think so. Cool. It looks cool. I think it looks awesome. So then I'm going to go back before this dries. And I'm going to pick up some more. Stop it. going to pick up some more what's not dry of this and go back in and touch up where the gray is. It's very simple. Just take the tip of your brush and 
Go over wherever you accidentally screwed up. Okay, now I'm just going to go back in with the grout one more time in any spots I see, any tiny, tiny spots, carefully, which I don't see very many, really at all, just a couple tiny little spotter dews. Okay, how cool is that? Does that not look like brick? I can't hear you. Why do you bother talking? I can't even hear you. Just kidding. So yeah, it looks like brick. I think it's awesome. I don't even think it needs very much highlighting, but I am gonna do a little bit of highlighting. And how I'm gonna do that is, I'm gonna take this gray and I'm gonna put a little bit on my mat and I'm gonna take a little bit more of that brown, mix it in like that. And now, I think I'm just going to use my finger, because that's probably the easiest way. I'm just going to add some, like, here and there, little spots, and rub it in. Like so. Like, just wherever I feel like it, basically. And it's not really highlighting as much as if you've ever looked at brick, you will notice that there is a whitish grayish haze over areas of some of the brick not every brick but some of the bricks most of the bricks actually there is that you know that weird coloring that's on the bricks and it's mostly because of the grout when the guys do it you know and they make a mess they try to wipe it but when they wipe it it still leaves behind the residue and that residue is this color. So I'm going over and that that'll give it that'll definitely add to the realistic um factor. It'll you'll notice, you'll see. It'll all of a sudden you'll be like, "Oh, yeah, that really looks like brick now." You know, it looks like worn brick. So as you can see, it's already look. What a difference, right? So I am loving this so much. This is so cool. And, I mean, look at that. Tell me that that does not look like a brick wall. Go outside, look at your brick wall. Does that not look like a brick wall? It does. It totally does. So, what I'm going to do is think about this for a minute because I want to make something out of this. I don't just want to have, oh, look, it's a brick wall. No, I want to put something on it. Um, so, I'm going to think for a few minutes, I think, while I clean up all this mess, and then I'll come back. I'm going to come up with something that we're going to make to go in front of this. So, yeah, so this is what you could do with snow text, dude. Seriously. Hello, look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, it, I mean, it feels like brick. If I had no idea, I would feel like I was feeling brick. It feels like brick, looks like brick. You know what I mean? Like, it's awesome. You're not going to get that with anything else. I can't get that with my texture paste. I can only get that with this stuff. Um, so, yeah, it feels just like brick. So, I want to figure something out to go in front of that or to be, like, on it or incorporated to it. So, I'll be back in a little while. I hope you enjoyed this so far, and I hope you'll stick around because in a minute you're going to see whatever I've come up with or we're going to figure it out. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I'm back, and I am thinking about doing something cute with this. I don't know whether I want to do it this way. I kind of want it to hang off, so I might do it this way. And paint this, and then put some flowers up here or something. I just thought that would be cute, don't you think? I just thought it would be a cute little card. Um, like a little, you know, like an artist trading card, really. Um, actually, this, was pro this will probably be like one of the only artist trading cards I've ever done. I don't think, no, I've done some, I think. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I think I did some and gave them away like a while ago, but I can't remember if that was artist trading card or something else. Either way, I love how this came out. I'm so, I just love this. I, I, I want to do more of these. And in fact, I wanted to, I would love to do a whole canvas with the brick. I think that would be cool. I hope you guys do it too, because it's so easy. It's so much fun. 
So I'm going to gesso this and paint it. And you guys are going to hang out with me while I do. And I got some good news. <laughs> What's funny is, I mean, to you, it's only been, you know, like, what have we been doing this? 45 minutes? I'm going to speed through some of it. I don't know how long the video is going to be. But anyway, I started the video yesterday, actually. I started the card yesterday, and I got tired, and I went to bed. And then I got up, and um, or maybe I started it this morning, like early this morning, at like 3 or 4 this morning. Something like that. It was some crazy thing. Um, anyway, and I told you in the beginning of the video that I applied to be in the uh, Deco Arts Artist... Um, Helping Artists program. Well, guess what? I got an email today saying that I was accepted. How cool is that? So I'm super excited, super, super, super to the point of craziness, excited that I got accepted into the Deco Arts Helping Artists program. I'm so excited. And what's funny is I got accepted while I'm working on a product, while I'm working on a project with their product. That was just really weird. That was really bizarre because I was taking a break because I said I'd be right back, but I went and took a break and checked my email while I was letting things, you know, dry and trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I said, well, let me sit down for a minute. And yeah, I got the email saying that I was accepted. I couldn't believe it. I almost fell out of my chair. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's going to be awesome. So I'm going to get to use all kinds of really cool deco art products and show you all kinds of fun techniques and all kinds of stuff that I couldn't show you before because I didn't have any of that stuff. So <laughs> I'm kind of, I had to use what I got. But I mean, I do have paints and stuff, but um, you know, I've never had like really any of their products. So I'm really super, super, super excited to get to play with their products and, um, and show you guys how they work and to be able to make really cool things with you. And hopefully, you know, hopefully you guys will stick around and watch because the first thing that I'll do is probably when they send stuff to me, I will show it to you guys. And then you guys can give me suggestions on what you want to see because I really, 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 really love it when you guys, <coughs> I got a tickle in my throat, <coughs> dying. <laughs> I got a tickle in my throat, sorry. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I love when you guys, you know, are in the comments and you guys are giving suggestions for things. I love it. I love it. Love it. I've got a couple of projects coming up this week. Uh, the first one that we're going to get started with this week is that shadow box because um, I want to get those out of the way um, before the deco art stuff comes in but plus we've also got the um, 1000 subscriber giveaway so we got a lot of stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks so bear with me and hopefully my health will hold out because as long as it does we are good to go rock and roll so I'm gonna start that box and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do it in sections and I'm going to put sections up, but like normally if I put, make a video that's going to be like more than one part, I will do the whole video and then put it up in parts. Well, this time I'm going to do it different to get the video, you know, started so that you guys can give me your feedback because I really like that. And I thought, you know, well, that would be a cool idea to get you guys to give me your feedback on what you think as I'm moving along with the shadow box um, that I'm doing for uh, Miriam's Craft Supplies, I want your opinions. I want to know what you think. I want to know what you think I should do at some points, or just tell me what you think as I go. You know, that type of thing. I like to hear feedback. It's nice. Um, and who knows, if you have a cool suggestion, it might happen. Um, as long as it's within my means. But, uh, yeah, so... We're going to do that. I'm probably going to start that. Um, I might start it tonight and start videoing it uh, after I finish this and clean up my desk because I want to get this completely cleaned up. If not, I'll start it tomorrow afternoon when I get home um, and I'll work on it throughout the week and I'll just put up videos, you know, 20, 20 to 40 minute videos as I go because, you know, it, it. I like to work in real time as much as possible. I That's why my videos, if I do a long project, it's a long video because I want you to see the whole thing. I'll fast forward like drying and things like that and things that are pretty obvious that you don't need to have every second of, but 
for the most part, I like to do things in real time because I want you guys to see everything that's going on as it's going on. I just feel like it, it'll be help you because what if you want to make a box? What if you want to go to Miriam's Craft Supplies, grab the same box that I got, grab some of the same stuff that I'm using and make it. But yeah, I'm fast forwarding through half the video and it's going too fast. And I, and because I've watched videos like that and tried to follow along, and when it's in fast forward, I have trouble. So even if I stop it and stop it and stop it, I have trouble. I don't know if you guys are like that, but if you are, let me know. Let me know how you like your videos. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me know. Do you guys prefer like the fast forwardy kind, or do you guys like the seeing the whole process. I love seeing the whole process personally. I like to put on a video. I don't care if it's three hours long. I will put the video on. Um, I watch a lot of the, I love longer, the longer the video, the better, in my opinion. I don't know why. I guess I'm weird. I hear people all the time say things about how, you know, they like their videos to be, you know, shorter. I'm going to throw a little bit of gesso on this, um, you know, or whatever. But me, I like them really long because they're fun to put on and it's almost like a movie. Like sometimes, you know, when people do like the Ustream classes and stuff and then they'll post it on YouTube and it's like a three hour long video of the class. I'll put those on. There's one YouTuber that that's all she does. She does just Ustream classes and when the class is over, she takes the entire video, puts it on YouTube. And that's all her videos are. And I like that. And I'll sit and I'll watch her videos and I'll put them on in the background. And I'll just catch and I'll look over because my TV, like I said, or my computer screen is that way. Like it's to the right of me. So all I have to do is look over because it's a 32 inch screen. So it's huge. I made sure to get a big one so I can sit here and watch things like that. So, I mean, it's nice because I can look over and see, you know, what's going on. And I like that. I like putting it on the background instead of like a TV show or a movie. I watch, you know, craft videos. To me, I, I, I'd rather be learning something because to me, I'm, you know, it, I'll always, you know, would rather be learning something from somebody else. And that's exactly what it is. You know, I'm learning from everybody else. And it's great when people say that they're learning something from me. I feel completely honored and completely taken back when somebody says they're learning from me. I'm thinking from me. <laughs> you know, like, that's just weird. <laughs> um, I'm going to get some yellow paint. And I think... Do I want to do this in yellow or like a gold metallic? I think a gold metallic would look pretty badass. What do you think? I think if this kind of stood out with a gold metallic against the brick background with some yellow-ish flowers that I'm going to distress a little bit. I was going to use this. It's kind of a weird color. I can't place it. It's not pink. I don't know what it's coming up on your screen, but it's almost like a... It's almost like a... It's not orange... It's not coral. It's not really peach. I can't explain it. But it'll kind of go, it kind of goes nice with the yellow. Like next to the yellow, it brings it out. So I'm going to go with that. And here's some, let's see. Oh, you know what? I have that gold metallic. But I also have, um, do, 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 where did I do with it? I also have these here, which I never get to use. Oh, I have this tattered angel. Ooh, this was sent to me. This was one of the paints sent to me by, um, oh yeah, drawing a blank now. Oh God, I feel like an idiot. Hold on. I'm trying to think of her name. The one that sent me that awesome, awesome package of huge, great stuff. Um, oh, what is wrong with me? She's going to kill me. She's going to kill me. She's going to think I'm completely rude for not remembering her name this is how my brain works and I hate it hate it yeah I think I'm gonna do that in that color but anyway she sent me that she sent me all that cool stuff I'm sorry if you're watching I'm sorry I feel like a complete ass that's not right and I, I'm, I'm sorry but yeah the girl that sent me all that really awesome stuff you know um Jesus I can't remember this is not quite dry, and I'm about to paint it. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. I'm going to shoot it. I'll make sure to put her name over the video in, like, a caption, because I don't want to not... Um, anyway, she's the one that gave me this Tattered Angels stuff, which I love, because it looks really cool, and it might need a couple of coats, but it's really kind of cool. 
And then I might just distress the edge a little bit, which I already paint, gessoed the edge. I didn't really have to, I guess. It's really kind of cool stuff. It's a very light color, but I would imagine if I go over it a little bit, it'll be cool. Either go over it or mix it with something else. This might not be meant for wood. I'm not sure. It's pretty, though. It's a nice color. Maybe I'll just go over it a couple times. But anyway, she's the one that gave me these, these Tattered Angels. Um, she gave me like a whole set. I was like, whoa, that was really cool. And I love Tattered Angels. I only have like two of their sprays or something, two or three. And I absolutely love them. And I use them very sparingly because I'm always afraid I'm going to run out of things. I guess that's from being poor, kind of. Like, you know, when not, I wasn't poor when I was a kid. My parents had money, but they just never shared any of it. But I mean, like, as an adult, you know, I kind of left my house kind of early and I struggled and struggled and struggled a lot. And so because of that and because I, you know, I liked doing art and crafts and stuff like that and never really had the money to buy anything, um, you know, I, I have an issue with, you know, stuff and letting things go and and using things up and stuff like that sometimes with certain things you know I just feel like I, I cherish everything in other words I'm a huge pack rat because I cherish everything and that's why it's so hard for me to pack my house and move okay so I'm gonna let that or I'm gonna dry that and then we're gonna stick another coat on so yeah today was a really good day unbelievable I couldn't believe it when I got the email and I ha you know and I have um, Artzology to thank because it was her video that made me believe that I could do it because I've seen other people like I said who had you know um, got accepted to do the um, deco arts helping artists program and you know I thought well you know they're much more established than me maybe and they've been doing this longer I mean I've been crafting my entire life but yeah so I really thought that they wouldn't accept me so I never applied and that was like a month ago that I seen that and I was like well you know I'm probably not gonna qualify so I'm not gonna bother well I watched her video and she had said the same thing she said I didn't think that I would qualify and and then I figured I'd give it a shot. This is what she said, basically. Um, it's not verbatim, but she was like, you know, then I, then I thought I'd give it a shot and say what the hey, you know, if they accept me, they accept me. I thought, well, that's, that's a good way to look at it, you know. And she said, and they accepted me. And she says, I don't, I didn't think that I deserved it, you know, yada, 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 yada. And so I was like, yeah, you know what? I think I should try. And I had asked her how long it took for her to hear back and she said oh you know a couple days and so I didn't expect to hear back yet and then all of a sudden today I got an email and it said congratulations and I was just like floored to the max I was so happy so so happy that's gonna be so much fun I've never had any kind of experience like that before the strange things have been happening since I started my YouTube and you know I don't I don't even know what to say. I feel very, very thankful and very grateful for the for the nice things that have happened to me when it comes to my YouTube channel and stuff and creating. It's just reaffirmed to me that this is the right path for me because for so long, um, for so long I struggled with what I should do with my life because when me and my ex split up, you know, I was never expecting to be cleaning houses for the rest of my life. I thought, you know, I would just kind of retire early and, you know, give my business to somebody else and then kind of just do something a little bit here and there as my health was declining because we always knew my health wasn't great. And I thought, you know, you know, I won't have to do this anymore and I'd be able to. But of course, then a wrench was thrown in the plans and we split up and of course, that changed the course of my life. And at that point, I knew I thought I'd have to do this for the rest of my life. I'd have to clean houses and struggle for the rest of my life. And, you know, luckily, that is hopefully not going to be the case. I'm taking this. I'm trying this aqua marker on the edges. I had gotten these a long time ago, but I don't hardly ever use them. Um, 
I thought they were, I didn't know what to really think. This tip is not good. They're not like really great markers. They're kind of cheapy, but I got a, I got them on sale and this is not like a brush, you know, they're not brush tip or anything. So they weren't the greatest to, they were very cheap. Like I'm talking $7 for a small set at, on sale, you know, so they're not like Copics or anything. I'm hoping to eventually buy Copics. I'm just having trouble, um, justifying the, the cost, but I know from what I've heard and like somebody had told me, they may be expensive, but they're a lifelong investment. And I thought of it that way and I've never bought anything, you know, of expensive ever for crafting. All my stuff is like little piddly stuff. I don't buy. I mean, I think the most expensive thing I own is my Cricut. And that was a struggle and I saved for that for a very long time to get that. I saved for it so long that by the time I went to buy it, there was like two different models had come out. <laughs> so I had gotten like, that's how long it took me. It was crazy. But I figured these would be good. The brown wood would be easy to get into there, into the little spots that an ink pad or something could not get into. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, the deco arts thing is going to be a really fun experience. It's going to give me the chance to, you know, do something I've never, you know, had the opportunity to, and that's use big name products and be able to share with you, you know, what I make and how I like it and, you know, fun stuff. I think it'll be a lot of fun and I hope you guys are around for it because I love you guys. You guys have become my friends and my family. So anyway, this is probably going to be a two-part video itself just because I'm playing and it's taking longer. So this might be two parts or more. <clears throat> Depending. Depending on how much longer this takes to do. I mean, these markers are worth it if you don't have any markers to color with. I mean, these are cool markers. They're not alcohol inks. They're aqua markers, so obviously they're water-based. But they're still pretty cool. I mean, they will do in a pinch if you need some, like, markers that are a little better than Crayola. You know what I mean? I have lots of Crayolas. I've used those for years. That's all I ever used to, you know, color stamps with and stuff. I used to use Crayolas like crazy, and they're great. You can color the stamp with Crayola markers and like get all kinds of colors on on one um, stamp you know to like make it look cool I'll show you that sometime because it's a lot of fun and it comes out really cute so I'll show you that that'll be a video I'll do that's an easy video that's an easy quick kind of fun video to show you how I used to color with um, uh, Crayolas I got confused when I pulled the cap off I was like Arr. To get into the little spaces it's got the little nib so I'm just getting in there that's what she said <laughs> or that's what he said maybe <laughs> I'm still gonna throw another coat on I just trying to get into the little hole okay so my camera shut off because stupidly I didn't realize how many how much video and how much of my camera memory I used up so it shut off, so I had to restart. So anyway, this is what I painted, and unfortunately you didn't get to see the process of me picking out the things, but I chose this. Somebody had given me this in a pocket letter, and I want, and it was recently, and I, of course, can't remember, and I don't want to say, because I'm not completely positive who it was. It was one of the recent ones, though, and I thought that would look really cute like that, and then I realized there's just a lot of yellow going on, so either I'm going to switch out the yellow flower for some for a teal one and because I think the teal and the yellow will look pretty together against the brick there's just a lot of yellow going on I realize and I thought maybe a smaller set of flowers maybe the the dark one and the lighter one would be would be nice 
and maybe, well, maybe I can do all three. I don't know. What do you think? Is that too much? If I move that to there, put that on there, put that there, and do that, and then maybe add some teal something or other to there. I think that looks good. I'm happy with that. I think it looks cute. I dig it. What can we put there to make it look teal? Um, I think I might have an answer for that. Hello, apparently my camera is giving me problems today. Of all days. It, I think it's t trying to tell me that I'm taking too long to do this, but I finished it. And you didn't get to see because of my cruddy camera, which every now and again likes to do this to me. But pretty soon I will be getting a new camera. A nice camera. I promise. It's happening. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I ended up going with this. I ended up not doing any of the flower and the stuff. I ended up changing my mind, as I always do. I change my mind like, you know, 90,000 times a minute. Um, I ended up taking a little mini doily. I ended up taking a button, a pretty button. I ended up taking, um, putting this on with the butterfly and then putting a little yellow gem, putting a couple little strands of pearls, a little pearl there, and then adding a little lace on the bottom. So I ended up making it kind of a shabby, chic, industrial look. Um, I think it's adorable, and I love it, and I'm just so happy with this. And um, this is also might be one of the giveaways for the 1,000 subscribers. So you might be winning this. I just think it's awesome. I will put a little thing on the back with something, you know, a little note, and this will be from me to you. Um, I think that's a great idea. So anyway, um, I'm sorry that the video is so long and that I ended up missing some parts, but you really didn't miss much because, I mean, you, I just changed my mind on a couple of things and then glued some stuff down. So really no big deal. Um, but you guys get the gist, I'm sure. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Of course, I will always answer. I will do everything I can to help you right down to video chat with you if you need me to, you know, if you need my help. I will always be there to help you guys because I love you guys and I will do anything for you. So make sure you hit, you make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you give me a like if you like this video, please, or if you like this, or if you like ice cream, just give me a like. That would be really cool. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, make sure you do what you love, love what you do, and be nice to everyone. Love you guys. Bye.